ಕೆತ್ತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇತಿ ನಾಮಿನೇ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಜೈ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರ ಧಾರಿ ಜೈ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರ ಧಾರಿ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋದನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರಾವನಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರಾವನಚಾರಿ ಜೈ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರ ಧಾರಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೋರ್ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೋರ್ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे जय राधा वृंदावन चंद्र राधा वृंदावन चंद्र राधे जय जगन्नाथ बल देवा सुभद्रा जय सुदर्शना जय गौरांगताय 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 जय गौरांगताय जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 शिल प्रभुपाद जय जय गुरुदेव 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 जय ओम विष्णुपाद परम हंस पर जचार्य अष्टोत्तर डिवाइन ग्रेस अभय चरण भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी शिल प्रोपात की जय इस्कॉन बीबीटी फाउंडर आचार्य शिल प्रोपात की जय जय ओम विष्णुपाद परम हंस परिजक आचार्य अष्टोत्तर डिवाइन ग्रेस भक्ति सिद्धांत सरोज ठाकुर शिल प्रोपात की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड ग्री गोवर्धन की जय ब्रजभूमि वृंदावन धाम की जय मथुरा धाम की जय नवद्वीप मायापुर धाम की जय पुरुषोत्तम क्षेत्र जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की जय द्वारकापुरी धाम की जय गंगा मैया की जय यमुना मैया की जय भक्ति देवी तुलसी महारानी की जय पतित पावन हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय शिल प्रोपा ट्रांसडेंटल बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की जय ऑल ग्लोरी स्टेसम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी स्टेसम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी स्टेसम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री गुरु गौरंगा ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जाय मुदीर नष्टु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ट की कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंगायते गिरिम यत्कृपातम वंदे श्रीगुरुदीन तारिण हरे कृष्णा ग्रंथराज श्रीमद्भागवत कैंटो सिक्स चैप्टर फाइव टेक्स्ट नंबर फोर्टी फोर श्रीशुक उवाच 
प्रतिजग्राह तद्बाढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत एतावान्दुवाद ही तिथिक्षेतेश्वर स्वयं श्रीशुक उवाच प्रतिजग्राह तद्बाढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत एतावान्दुवाद ही तिथिक्षेतेश्वर स्वयं श्रीशुक उवाच प्रतिजग्राह तद्बाढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत एतावान्दुवाद ही तिथिक्षेतेश्वर स्वयं जग्राह तद्बाढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत साधुवाद ही तिथिक्षेतेश्वर स्वयं श्रीशुक उवाच किढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत साधुवाड़ो ही शुक उवाच तिजग्राह तद्बाढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत किताधुवाद ही तिथिक्षेतेश्वर स्वयं मतजी त्रिशुक उवाच प्रतिजग्राह तद्बाढ़ नारद साधु सम्मत एतावान्दुवाद ही स्वयं वर्ड बाय वर्ड ट्रांसलेशन ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपट बस डिवाइन ग्रेस ए सी भक्तिवेदांत स्वामी शिल प्रभुपाद जय शिल प्रभुपाद श्री शुक उच श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी सैड प्रति जग्राह एक्सेप्टेड तत् दैट बाढ़ सो बी इट नारद नारद मुनि साधु सम्मत हु इज एन एप्रूव साधु एतावान दिस मच साधुवाद एप्रोप्रिएट फॉर अ सेंटली पर्सन ही इंडीड तिथिक्षेत ही मे टॉलरेट ईश्वर ऑल दो एबल टू कर्स प्रजापति दक्ष स्वयं हिमसेल्फ ट्रांसलेशन श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी कंटिन्यूड माय डियर किंग सिंस नारद मुनि इज एन एप्रूव सेंटली पर्सन व्हेन कर्स्ड बाय प्रजापति दक्षा ही रिप्लाइड तद बाढ़ यस व्हाट यू सेड इज गुड आई एक्सेप्ट दिस कर्स ही कुड हैव कर्स्ड प्रजापति दक्षा इन रिटर्न बट बिकॉज ही इज टॉलरेंट एंड मर्सीफुल साधु ही टूक नो एक्शन परपट एस स्टेटेड इन श्रीमद भागवतम थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट ट्वेंटी वन तिथिक्ष कारुणिका सुहृद सर्वदेहिना अजात शत्रु शांत साधु साधव साधु भूषण द सिम्टम्स ऑफ अ साधु आर दैट इज टॉलरेंट मर्सीफुल एंड फ्रेंडली टू ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज ही हेज नो एनिमीज ही इज पीसफुल ही एबाइड्स बाय द सिक्स स्क्रिप्चर्स and all his characteristics are sublime because narad muni is the most elevated of sadhus devotees 
टू डिलीवर प्रजापति दक्षा ही साइलेंटली टॉलरेटेड द कॉकर्स श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एज टॉट दिस प्रिंसिपल टू ऑल इज डिवोटीज त्रिनाद अपी सुनी चेना तरोर अपी सहिष्णुना अमान इना मान देना कीर्तनिया सदा हरी वन शुड चैंड द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन अ हम्बल स्टेट ऑफ माइंड थिंकिंग हिमसेल्फ लोअर देन द स्ट्रॉ इन द स्ट्रीट वन शुड बी मोर टॉलरेंट देन अ ट्री डिवॉइड ऑफ ऑल सेंस ऑफ फॉल्स प्रेस्टीज एंड शुड बी रेडी टू ऑफर ऑल रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर इन सच अ स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वन कैन चैन द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड कॉन्स्टेंटली फॉलोइंग द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु one who preaches the glories of the lord all over the world or all over the universe should be humbler than grass and more tolerant than a tree because a preacher cannot live an easy going life indeed a preacher must face many impediments not only is he sometimes cursed but sometimes he must also suffer personal injury for example when nityananda prabhu went to preach krishna consciousness to the two rogish brothers jagai and madhai they injured him and made him made his head bleed but nevertheless he tolerantly delivered the two rogues who became perfect vaishnavas this is the duty of a preacher lord jesus christ even tolerated crucifix crucifixion therefore the curse against narada was not very astonishing and he tolerated it now it must be asked why narad muni stayed in the presence of prajapati daksha and tolerated all his accusations and curses was that for daksha's deliverance Ye- the answer is yes shila vishwanath chakravarti thakur says that after being insulted by prajapati daksha narad muni should have left immediately but he purposely stayed to hear all daksha's strong words so that daksha might be relieved of his anger prajapati daksha was not an ordinary man he had accumulated the results of many pious activities therefore narad muni expected that after delivering his curse daksha satisfied and freed from anger would repent his misbehavior and thus get a chance to become a vaishnav and be delivered when jagai and madhai offended lord nityananda lord nityananda stood tolerantly and therefore both brothers fell at his lotus feet and repented consequently they later became perfect vaishnavas thus end the bhakti vidan purports of the 6th canto 5th chapter of the shrimad bhagavatam entitled narad muni cursed by prajapati daksha ओम ज्ञातिरंधस्य ज्ञाजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मीता तस्म श्री वे नम श्रीचैतनमनोभीष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम ददाती स्वदाक वंदेह श्रीगुरु श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांच श्रीरूप सागर जात सह गण रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवदूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्वित नमा ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेस्ताय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनीतिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्यामिने गौरतुषे नम हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानुतुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि वाकलतरु वैश्य कृपा सिंधु भयव पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्री सुखदेव गोस्वामी कंटिन्यूड माय डियर किंग सिंस नारद मुनि इज एन अप्रूव सेंटली पर्सन वेन कर्स बाय प्रजापति दक्ष ही रिप्लाइड तद पाढ़म Yes, what you said is good. I accept this curse. He could have cursed Prajapati Daksha in return, but because he is tolerant and merciful sadhu, he took no action. Hare Krishna. I am grateful and humbled that you engage me in the service, and I am grateful to His Grace Bhrama Maharaj Prabhu, Rasugar Prabhu, and all the senior brahmacharis who are sitting here. they will inspire me to repeat the words of shila prabhupad thank you very much we are reading from canto 6 chapter 5 narad muni cursed by prajapati daksha we all know that narad muni is a very compassionate pure devotee of the lord spreading the bhakti cult all over the universe and since the well wisher of all living entities he delivers haivashwas 10000 sons of daksha first time and second time 1000 sons sailashwas of daksha daksha is very furious upset angry narad muni knows this but as we see in such a propat purport he approaches the prajapati daksha and we see from chapter number sorry text number 36 to 43 the reaction of the daksha how is blaspheming and accusing narad muni this chapter actually this canto is headed as prescribed duties for the human beings or poshanam so what type of duties one should perform at the same time it also means what type of duties one should not perform the beauty of bhagavatam is bhagavatam uses both the cases the cases to be followed mahajana ena sam yeah and uh, cases not to be followed both the cases and whatever duties we should do and the lord protects lord is very merciful so poshanam maintenance and and this is beautifully illustrated by the stories of ajamil and here now daksha etc so now we see here the reaction of prajapati daksha from text number 36 to 40 43 in this also there can be sub division up to 39 he blasphemes narada accuses him blames him for separating his children from him detachment in fact is attached and then from 40 to 42 he glorifies himself this is our normal tendency we accuse others we blaspheme others and then we criticize others and then we glorify ourselves so prajapati daksha is a beautiful example he is a devotee but his devotion is in a mode of ignorance he has seen the lord but sometimes krishna 
puts his own devotees in such situations to teach us lessons how we should behave and how we should not behave and what does he use what words is he using if we could hear these words our blood will be boiling but narada is very patient in text number 36 he says a sadho sadhu naam these honest non devotee in the society of devotees and saints he singles him out that you are a non devotee these honest personality very difficult to tolerate then sadhu lingena you are wearing a dress of a sadhu you are not a sadhu then text number 37 papa oh most sinful personality of sinful activities horrible accusation then nira anukroshah you have no compassion then nira aptra apatrapah you are shameless then text number 39 so you know you are mischief monger in the who has no mercy and then mudha propas favorite rascal so these accusations he hears silently narad muni composed calm and then in text number 40 onwards he glorifies himself i know i know what is the siddhanta of vaishnavas how one should experience distress and sorrows and then he will be elevated i have performed so many vratas i am a grah vrata i have done so many par- yagyas so who are you to teach me a typical mentality in fact daksha is confused as we all are when when before we come to krishna consciousness we do karma kand we do nan kand we follow that demigod that the demigod is and that's what daksha is talking about he says i do all pious activities without the sinful reactions all karma kand talk prabhupad explains us about pravritti mark and nivritti mark the beautiful example of how to practice nivritti mark is narad muni and what is pravritti mark is illustrated by daksha at this stage in this particular chapter nivritti mark tells us how to get liberated how to attain the ultimate goal of life prema pumartho love of krishna and in pravritti mark we go from one body to another enjoy sense gratification use our inclinations to enjoy the uh, sense gratifications and are bound and at the most we can go up to spiritual uh, heavenly planets and that's what daksha is planning to and in a sense he's right because when he prayed in the earlier fifth chap uh, fifth chapter what did lord tell him you uh, the lord told him that uh, my illusory energy will have effect on you and on your children and you will be able to create progeny that was the task given to daksha in a way he is doing his work because he has to produce progeny text number 4 yeah the last very very interesting after you give birth to many hundreds and thousands of children they will also be captivated by my illusory energy and will engage like you in sexual intercourse but because of my mercy to you and them they will also be able to give me presentations in devotion so in vaishnav siddhant and spirituality there is nothing right and wrong this higher principle and lower principle 
everyone is right from his own point of view but we should understand what is the higher principle highest principle and which are lower principles and krishna through this particular past time and by also uh, giving benediction to uh, uh, daksha is telling us that we should go beyond lower principles to higher principle daksha think that yes i am right i have been given the benediction to produce pro progenies children and narad muni is obstructing my dutiful task that is my prescribed duty but what is the prescribed duty higher prescribed duty narad muni knows and that's why he is liberating his sons and is furious so we are also many times placed in such situations what should i do should i go up for higher principle or a lower principle ultimately in a way both are okay but the highest principle has to be practiced in case we want to go quickly to the back to the spiritual world in this lifetime otherwise yes indirect process and that's what daksha is following here so knowing this now we go to the purport of shila prabhupad in the purport shila prabhupad explains us three important things the qualification of a pure devotee and that's why he is quoting shlokas telling us what are the qualities of a pure devotee titikshava karunika srihadam sarva dehinam ajata shatru shanta shanta sadhu bhushana this is kapil dev is telling his mother devuti symptoms of a sadhu how to understand the sadhu not by his external dress daksha also knows that so that's why he is again and again repeating narada you are not a sadhu you are externally wearing a dress of a sadhu many times we do that also we wear a tilak kanti mala bid bag but our internal consciousness is different from our external consciousness maybe no transparency also so this krishna's teachings so prabhupad is first quoting about kapil dev what are the qualities then second prabhupad quotes about lord chaitanya mahaprabhu's words from shikshashtakam tunadapi sunichena why because narad muni is a typical beautiful example of that he is standing there being accused but is humble tolerant so this is the first qualities of a devotee which are very hard for a sadhaka to practice there are very lofty goals for us first we are sadhakas we have to remove our anarthas which is a big burden of so many millions of births we come into bhakti along with that and sometimes we expect that we'll be immediately will be pure devotees so sometimes you wonder oh how come i have not become a pure devotee as that patience utsah dhairyat nishayat it takes long long time how many manmantaras daksha is atoning first manmantar where same attitude anger demanding respect not getting respect furious now here not the respect but attachment i am attached to my children how dare you separate my children from me ultimately who is narad muni his brother but own body's extension expansion is more important than your father's expansion so own children yes they my own children you may be my brother forget about it how dare you separate and i have worked for it hard i prayed to lord and he has given me the benediction in a way is right second rupa is talking about the mood of daksha which we should not have or we should not try, we should not try to have we already have it before coming to krishna consciousness 
and the purpose of krishna consciousness is to develop that mood of narad muni and the third most important aspect prabhupada is talking about what type of preacher one should be you are all from voice i think all preachers so this particular purport is very very important to you how we should be composed and prabhupada repeats one particular statement he says the impediments will be there during preaching sometimes there may be injuries and we see this in the life of our acharyas lord chetan mahaprabhu himself life of shila prabhupada also impediments difficulties if we see the life of shila prabhupada what do we see so many difficulties impediments but is determined i have to practice and implement the instruction of my spiritual master struggling for nearly 40 years not a small period anyone other than he in his place would have given up but he was totally determined plus enthusiastic why he had tremendous faith faith in the scriptures and that's why his purposes are realized purposes not the way i talk parroting deep purposes goes and that's what in a way daksha is saying one is to experience the sorrow but here propa is telling us you experience the difficulties to become a better devotee to increase your determination to express uh, to uh, uh, experience sorrow you also have to enjoy there's a duality of this material world you enjoy and suffer enjoy and suffer you don't have to experience rupa also tells us many times that's why the purpose of shastras rupa quotes the three three types of intelligent people the most intelligent pe- person is one who re- sees that the thief is being punished stealing is wrong so one should not steal he has that faith in the scripture he observes and he refrains from stealing very intelligent class of persons devotees are like that they have faith in shabd praman they don't have to experience second type of people propat says those who hear but let go from the other, other ear and they try to steal they are caught they are imprisoned and then they realize yes i should not do that i have experienced the distress of stealing the third class you are uh, you are released but again your inclination proclivity to steal has not gone you have not learned from your experience you still again punarapi 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 so this goes on so here daksha is telling us that to you experience and experience and experience but what is the real siddhanta that's why krishna talks about brahma vimohan leela govardhan leela so many past times what type of devotee one should be what type of devotee one should not be have faith in scriptures and yes the easiest path which naramuni followed he had that tremendous faith so a preacher should also have absolute faith in the scriptures propad had that so he vehemently he vehemently disputed that man has landed on moon he stressed said moon is further than the sun 
tremendous faith. We are confused. So we don't take up this matter at all. So faith. Then impediments. After coming to America at the age of 69, immediately within three months or so, he faced David na, who attacked him. David. Attacked him. Injury. Till Prabhupada did not give up. Krishna reciprocated. And then see what happened. Many provocating, provocative situations. The reporters asking provocative questions. Your views about male and female, ladies. Why have you come here? So many questions. Tolerated. Sometimes insults, audience from, are you the topmost devotee? What is the status? Or, perhaps I am the lowest of the devotee. Bhakti Siddhanta Sadhguru Thakur, the threat on his life, but he did not give up. Similarly, Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur, he had a major critical health issue because of the curse of B.B. Bishak Singh, survived because of his strong faith. Lord Chaitanya, Insulted by Amo. Oh, you are a sannyasi and you eat so much. Same thing repeated by Ram, Ramchandra Puri. Tolerated. And Prabhupada quotes here about Jagai Madai, how they treated Lord Nityananda and how he tolerated. So, these are the lessons difficult to practice. Interesting to read, but difficult to practice. And very, very interesting is the mood of Narada, the same mood of Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj is also cursed by Sringi, immature Brahmana boy. His father, Shami Krushi, is praying to Lord to please forgive this immature, non-intelligent boy. He has offended a Vaishnava. And he recites one beautiful shloka telling us the qualities of uh, a devotee. Canto 1, text 18, shlok number 48. Tiraskrita, vipralabdha, shapta, shipta, hatapi, nasya tat pratikuruvanti, tad bhakta prabhava prabhopi. They may be defamed, may be cheated, may be cursed, may be dis disturbed and neg uh, neglected or even killed. But they don't take revenge. They tolerate. And that's what we see from the life of Narad Muni, the life of Parikshit Maharaj. And how we see how they are both uh, para dukha dukhi. They see the problems and distress of living entities and trying to help them. They are ever, ever well wishers. And Parikshit Maharaj, the, this Canto 6 starts itself with that particular mood of Parikshit Maharaj. Compassionate mood. At the end of the fifth Canto, description of uh, uh, hellish planets and how these living entities are suffering in the planets. Parikshit Maharaj's heart is melted. It's very, very compassionate. Why are people doing like this? What is the solution? In asking a series of questions. And Shukadeva Goswami is testing. He doesn't give a direct answer first. He talks about Karmakand, 
ज्ञान कांड एंड देन कम्स टू भक्ति सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस द सेम थिंग इज रिपीटेड हियर नाउ सुखदेव गोस्वामी is narrating this past time he has heard daksha's comments daksha's opinions and now what is his opinion concluding statement of shukdev go swami what does he say so he says narad muni is sadhu sammata who is an approved sadhu and sadhu vadah appropriate for a saintly person his behavior is very very appropriate just the contrary to what daksha is saying a sadhu lingam you are a sadhu wearing a dress while narad muni while shukdev go swami mahajano mahajan saying that yes you are he is he confirm that he is a sadhu good standing he is also mahajan and he has got wonderful qualities like tolerance mercy etc so what does it mean it is not at what we think about ourselves i may think oh i am such a wonderful devotee i am so humble i am so merciful so tolerant no others authorities that's why testing approvals if approve ap authorities stamp you yes this that guru or yes he is sincere that's the effect of bhakti mercy all we work is for mercy our endeavors we don't judge ourselves we just work hard with uh, without any motivation sincerely sincerely seriously non duplicitously if you do that the authorities will be pleased all the beautiful qualities of bhakti which help us to preach krishna consciousness will be developed within us by the mercy of guru parampara sri prabhupada and acharyas and that's what here narad uh, shukde goswami is confirming he is the authority he says yes he is sadhu sammata sadhu vada he is tolerant even though he has the ability to curse counter curse he is not cursing and that's the beauty of bhakti achintya inconceivable nothing in our hand so it is very difficult to understand krishna's plans anyone can be an instrument krishna is swarat so he is accordingly trying to test our progress into devotional spirituality whether you got any anarthas left any attachments etc and some of the inconceivable way he is trying to purify us so this is la propas purport and i would try to repeat or parrot whatever words that i have heard thank you very much and thank you for your tolerance हरे कृष्णा ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय लप्रोपाद की जय समवेद भक्त की जय हरे कृष्ण वुड यू लाइक टू एड समथिंग ध्रुव महाराज प्रभु थैंक यू one hour i i thought it's that right no any then i'll any questions any comments yes hari krishna prabhu ji thank you for the class uh, i was uh, sometimes such thought comes that if someone is like uh, blaspheming us and if we don't uh, put up our point then it would be like accepting whatever he is saying so how we can understand that this tolerance is uh, what is the real meaning of this tolerance there are two ways of looking at it when when a devotee is being blasphemed like when 
Nityanand Prabhu was attacked. Nityanand Prabhu did not react. Who reacted? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Right? Similarly, when uh, Ramchandra Puri was blaspheming Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was quiet, he was peaceful. Who were agitated? His associates. But they were also equally helpless. But they, they at least gave way to their emotions. As we, uh, sorry, I forgot to touch on the last aspect. Uh, Prabhupada talks about Vishwana Chakri Thakur's comments. The great compassionate nature of Narad Muni. He knew the reaction of Daksha. He could understand. But even then he wanted to give a chance to Daksha. So that one could vent out and then repent. And Narad Muni is a powerful preacher. He has delivered Murgari worse than Dakshas. So how successful he is? He has delivered Valmiki, Valyakoli. So Narad Muni has that potency of deliverance. And he fall, highly fallen in, in, uh, in, in individual. And who is Daksha? His brother. So he is giving him a chance to vent out. And he vents out. All the poison is out. Like after all the poison of Kaliya is subdued. Similarly, all the poison that was burning in the heart of Daksha was released. Prabhupada in the purport does not say, but he says in the purport that Narad Muni wanted Daksha to be a Vaishnav. So yes, Narad Muni has that potency to turn a non vaishnava or a devotee of a lower in kanista devotee into pure devotee jagai madai became vaishnava that is discussed in chaitanya bhagavat very nicely whole chapter is devo devoted to that so when someone accuses you and prupa talks about it also in bhagavad gita chapter 12 uh, 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 which is that um, Maitra Karuna Evacha said, even if an enemy is accusing you, what is the philosophy? Yes, I might have reacted with him in my previous birth. Right? What's your name? Harish. Harsh. Okay. Harsh, joy. Good. So you are always joyful. So that is the, our highest approach, very difficult to practice because we get agitated. We don't consider that he is the instrument. We see the immediate reaction or immediate cause. The higher cause is that he has our own past karmas. That we don't understand because you don't have that much knowledge and understanding and maturity. So if we follow and try to repeat again and again and again, yes, this is what is an instrument. And that's why Brahma is also saying that. No? He's telling us again, so many, so many shlokas are there, so many times all the our acharyas are repeating this principle. That you are the own, you are responsible for your own act. Uh, you are the instrument. Others are instrument, you are own responsible for your own, own uh, situation. And that is very difficult for us to digest because of lack of knowledge. So if we again and again introspect in this particular aspect, that it might be my previous karmas, because we don't know about what are our karmas in previous birth. We get agitated. We will get agitated again and again. But the extent of agitation should come down over a period of time. That is advancement in bhakti. Imme immediately we can't grasp and practice that particular uh, application or siddhant. Very difficult. But at least we should know theoretically what does it mean. And then we should try to implement it in our life. It takes time. But one should be clear about the Siddhanta. No one else is responsible. No blame game. I am responsible for my own whatever is happening in my life. No one else is responsible. Sometimes we blame Krishna also. Krishna, why do you, I have become a devotee now? Why do you do this to me? No. Nothing like that. So, Harsha, are you satisfied? Thank you. 
यस यस प्रभु हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू प्रभु जी फॉर यस महाराज सॉरी प्रभु जी I am also going to repeat parrot like what I have heard. No realizations, but just to reiterate, Narad Muni is a powerful preacher, and he has delivered so many people in Shrimad Bhagavatam. And we all know about Dhruva Maharaj. How we just told him how to give the, get the deity worship, how to chant the mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, and Narad Muni left. But it was all up to Dhruva. follow the instructions perfectly so basically what i'm saying is although the guru is potent the disciple has to be equally potent yeah if the disciple is like whenever there is a parasmani it can turn iron into gold but if it can turn into just a general stone it will not do anything so we have to be 50% or more responsibility is on us uh, to follow prabhupada's instructions of chanting 16 rounds every day following the regulatory principles and the very most important thing is stay in the association of devotees never leave iskon no matter what happens if you can do this one thing everything else will prabhupada and the devotees will take care so hopefully everybody Stays in scorn, tolerate scorn, tolerate whatever shortcomings are there because we are in the material world. Scorn is a wonderful society. Typically, I have traveled all over the world, and I find scorn in VCC is the best of all. Very good. <laughs> It's very encouraging to see so many eager souls coming to the. Shrimad Bhagavatam class and following the principles and doing the preaching work. So Prabhupada has definitely given us a very good framework to go back home, back to Godhead in this very lifetime, and we should not lose this golden, extremely golden diamond opportunity and stay in the Iskon movement no matter what happens. Tolerate each other, tolerate inconveniences. That's our austerity. our basic austerity is eating prasadam and we are doing that very well all over the world iskon devotees are the best in eating prasadam so keep your austerities and stay in iskon that's the message i am giving thank you very much this is all parrot like words thank you prabhu ji for your inspiring message and guidance हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू फॉर नाइस क्लास ऑन टॉलरेशन प्रभु जी आई हैड ए क्वेरी दैट व्हेन टॉलरेशन इज इंडिपेंडेंटली डिस्क्राइब फ्रॉम डिवोशन और कॉम्पैशन देन इट कैन बी मिसअप्लाइड लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल नारद मुनि वाज टॉलरेंट इन दिस केस but when it came to nalakuver manigriv he flew off the handle so he had to cur- he cursed them uh, so the toleration is based on the compassion part uh, that, that is highlighted otherwise non devotees are more tolerant than devotees for example hiranyakashipu we have the mural behind that all his body is completely emancipated and his bones are visible while doing tapas he was more tolerant and uh, sometimes politicians are more tolerant than our devotees like Devotees go for Tindi 300 kilometers, but one politician can walk from Kanyakumari to uh, Kashmir also completely. So they uh, they they can be more tolerant, appear to be. But the toleration, if it is based on compassion or devotion, uh, then that toleration can be uh, that toleration becomes complete. Otherwise, non-devotees are more tolerant than devotees. This is uh, my understanding, bro. I wanted to clarify from you. And uh, second part, uh, can I also add? Uh, I mean, uh, based on this only concept. that i i had a second question also like sometimes laksha was uh, very conscious that he was very tolerant uh, but the toleration was based on ego that see how tolerant i am and he published himself see see how tolerant i am he published himself uh, 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 other uh, but the compassion uh, but the toleration should be based on compassion so when we identify when i as a sadhaka identify that okay 
I am tolerant. I appear to be tolerant. I appear to be very advanced. But at the same time, the toleration is based on my ego. That how great I am. See, I have tolerated the situation. So when I identify how to flip from that uh, ego level to compassion level uh, in a gradual way, that also is the second part. First part is toleration, independent of compassion, and second part is how we flip from uh, ego toleration coming out of ego to toleration coming to. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Uh, as Dhruv Maharaj Prabhu explained, it all depends on our desire, whether we want to advance. Narad Muni tolerated at the same time he wanted to correct them. So he corrected money grief and nalkuvar in a different way by cursing them. But they needed the curse. That was the benediction he gave. So he thought by giving the curse, and he 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 realized he knew it, and they got corrected. So correction depends on different aspects, the maturity and the wisdom of a preacher like Narad Muni. They are self-realized. So in this particular case, he corrected them in this in by cursing them. This is correction. Correction. He was tolerant, but he wanted them to be corrected. In Daksha's case, he thought that yes, he can be corrected by he him, him venting out. So there's also another way of correction. So correction will be from time, place, circumstances, and depending on individuals and the realization of the pure devotee. So is that first point clear? And naturally, the yes, you are absolutely right. Tolerance has to be doubted. In Krishna consciousness, Krishna has to be in center. That's why in fifteenth, thirteenth uh, chapter, Amanitvam, then then that's a uh, the Swarup Lakshan is there, Bhakti. So all these qualities should be doubted in Krishna consciousness. Absolutely right. The second point, as you said, uh, that depends on how I digest. What is my acceptance level? Someone is willing to correct me, but will I take in the right spirit? Am, am I the sponge which can absorb that advice, or I will, like a stone, I will throw it out? So Prabhuji explained, fifty percent will depend on you. The framework is given. Prabhupada also mentions in the chapter fifteenth chapter, first uh, canto fifteenth chapter, when where uh, Pandavas retire early, pilots. Take training here, but when they fly, they are on our own. So bhakti is togetherness, association of devotees at the same time, individual, vyaktik, individual. So how we reciprocate, how we digest the advice and instructions of our authorities that will, to that extent, will be advancing and having that right approach and attitude. That depends on us. Is that clear? Thank you, Hare Krishna. Yes, Rasgu Prabhu, you are testing me. Prabhu, <laughs> thank you very much for wonderful class, full of realizations. All the points were very touching. I liked very, very much the first point you mentioned that Daksha mentality is to glorify ourselves and find fault with others. So uh, I can see that I can not even represent Daksha properly because Daksha is a still mentioned in Bhagavatam, great. But I am, I am finding so many bad qualities in me more than what has been told by you. But on the other hand, I see that you are true representative of Narad Muni because I am observing you from 25 years, and I have never seen you boasting yourself or talking or glorifying yourself. So my question is because many of the boys are new here, so they may not know you. So that's why I am asking this question. But even I want to learn and know from you. The what is what is that which has helped you to develop such wonderful quality of finding always good in others and never thinking yourself great or always thinking yourself humble? So, is it coming from your previous birth? Because of <laughs> because of your sadhana, or have you cultivated this in this life? And what you have done? <laughs> Why are you laughing? He is really testing me, and I am going to fail. 
<laughs> no, no, bro. I am really asking. And I know Jayadeepuru will give answer. It is the mercy of Guru and Krishna and all the Vaishnavas. But I want to ask how you got that mercy. And you will say causeless mercy, I know. So I... I <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, want, I want to ask how you attracted that causeless mercy. <laughs> because I know his answer. So I'm, <laughs> I want to sincerely understand to it. So... I, I said I am defeated. I have failed. I have no answer to your question. <laughs> Please, because we want to learn. Really, they, I want to learn. They, they are more inspired by you, Prabhu. Your position, your sadhana, you, the way you come daily, you come and sit here, chant, the way you cultivate your group members, counselees, how you focus on holy name, sadhana. You are to know how you got this quality of glorifying others. That's what I am asking. <laughs> I am not glorifying, I am mentioning a fact. Mentioning a fact and glorification are two different things. I am mentioning a fact. So you have answered my question. I don't know. I only consider I what I, I personally feel is whether you agree or you don't agree. I am inspired by all these boys. At such young age, they are so disciplined, so enthusiastic and willing to become pure devotees, follow the instructions, obedience. Maybe at a later stage, they may have that little spark of independence. But today, they are very obedient. They will be willing to do anything they are told. I wish to be like them. I am not. So that hankering for developing this quality of obedience. I don't have them at that stage. Even as you said, humble. I don't have humility. Neither do I have tolerance. So trying to develop these qualities by seeing the example in others. I see all this wonderful, even you, the way your enthusiasm is contagious. It's not as touched me. I'm wondering why. Am I so hard-hearted? That your contagious, your contagious enthusiasm, your so much, so much knowledge, you give beautiful classes. I have not been able to follow in your footsteps, but I want to. That's my desire. So that desire to practice and inculcate the qualities that others have, good qualities in others. That I think is my. Maybe I, I'm trying to learn, be a student, and I'll always be a student. I don't have much knowledge, neither do I have good qualities, neither I am a servant. I am trying to be Anudas, trying to follow in the footsteps of these wonderful servants. So this is my thought approach. And this thought approach, I think the basic fundamental principle in the life of a sadhaka. That he, there's a profile many times. Say that one has to be like a uh, ignorant guy in front of his spiritual master. He has to know that, yes, I don't know anything. I've seen my spiritual master's humility. I've seen his tolerance. I'm highly inspired, but I still can't practice. So that's a driving, driving force. And that's, that's what is pushing me further. But I don't know how, when I'll be attaining those qualities. It's a long, long journey. That's it. I'm trying. But your kind words are inspiring me. Thank you for being my well-wisher, my guide and my friend. And go on inspiring me. That's what I, I, I can do. Only try and follow in your footsteps of all of you. Thank you. So, is it clear now? Are you happy? Have I passed or failed? <laughs> yeah, I remember Roji, you telling the same thing some to me some 15-20 years back. I asked you the same question. You said that I see the young boys a who fact. have come who have come to Krishna consciousness at the age of 18-20 and they are so enthusiastically participating and they have so many years to grow in Krishna consciousness. But you mentioned that you came little late in Krishna consciousness. Yes, I came in the 40s. 40s. You told exactly the number also 40s. And therefore you feel that you have missed those 20-30 years of your life to come into Krishna Consciousness. This is a purport of 
See how wonderfully he is explaining. <laughs> Telling what you, I am just parroting as you said. So, and therefore he feels that there is less time. So, I just wanted to share with, because there are many young boys who do not belong to Pune. They have come here for some time. So, I feel so like that. So, I wanted to show you that, tell you that Gloria De Prabhu is a very glorious personality, backbone of Pune uh, uh. congregation. Shila Prabhupad ki jai. Samaved Bhaktund ki jai. Okay. For the pleasure of good. I am try to be your servant and try to please you. Hare Krishna. So, very grateful to you, Prabhu, for exemplifying this verse in our life, actually, by your behavior in so many years. And I deeply thank uh, His Grace Rasvigra Prabhu for the interaction which you have with him. So, I echo those words. So my question is, you mentioned in a Vaishnava Siddhanta, uh, there is nothing right and wrong, actually. It's about higher and lower principle. So, Daksha was convinced that I am right and it was the right. And uh, Narada was convinced for a higher principle of Lord's will. So, in our life also, we have certain convictions and our understandings and our practice, we are convinced that we are right. Many of, at least I am talking about myself. So, how do we come out of this conviction and be open to go to the higher principle all the time? It is very simple. Depends on your mind. Tell your mind. No, you are wrong. I am in Maya. And speculating, the highest principle is Prem of Pumartho Mahan, serving the Vaishnavas and trying to be their servant to the servant to the servant and developing Krishna Prem. There's no confusion about the highest principle. So, why are we confused? So, it is our fault that we have not been able to train our mind. Isn't that simple? So, when you have these convictions, which you know that they are lower principles, you should throw them out. What is preventing you from throwing them out? Your att attachment to those principles. Give them up. As Daksha is attached to his principles. Is there difficulty in giving up those convictions? Yes. So that's why that's you have to give up attachment. Na? Bhakti is telling us to be, so you are, you are wearing this dress to be, to be detached, right? Attached to Krishna and detached from your own convictions. So we have to be detached from our own lower convictions and principles. Ahinsa, Paro, Dharma, they say that. But we all know that is a lower principle. So similar, our mind will tell us so many lower and lower and lower principles. Yes, we have to give them up. So earlier we give them up, better it is for us. Too much knowledge also sometimes is dangerous. It, it, in, I'm sorry, no offense. So that's why we should be very simple. Our mind should, at least we should train our mind to be simple. That's why I, I'm just, what I understand, huh? I don't know whether I'll be able to satisfy your question. Are you satisfied? You're not satisfied. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, we'll stop here. Krantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Shla Prabhupad ki jai. Samavet Bhaktund ki jai. Hare Krishna. हरे कृष्णा एक सैफरन डिवोटी को किसी ने मोबाइल दिया है कि